Hey, hi Dr. Cox. This is Emily Edwards. So today we're going to be talking about shading. Um, I'll be doing a, a lesson on uh, value, lightness and darkness in, uh, in uh, drawing. This is for primarily for my Art One students. As you can see here, I have a pepper, a yellow pepper, that we're going to be shading. And I have a light source, a lamp, right here. And I have some uh, drawing paper, sketch pad here. And initially I am using a 2HB pencil. I don't know if you can see that there. Okay, so one of the first things we're going to do is we're going to lightly draw, lightly outline our pepper here, which you can see I've already done. Um, light pencil marks because we want to just we don't want to make any impressions in the paper. If you press too hard you'll leave some some impressions in the paper even if you erase. So you just want to lightly outline the um, the shape of the pepper here. And then we're going to take our charcoal pencil. This is a Royal brand charcoal pencil and it's a it's a hard depth or a hard um, consistency. We don't want to use too soft charcoal because then it would be quite messy. Okay, so we're going to begin here by identifying our light source, which is right here. This is the highlight of the, the pepper, the subject. And we're going to start by sort of blocking off that area. Let's see here. I'm going to use my pencil, actually. It's kind of block off this highlighted area and that's just to make sure that we don't go over that area at all we want to keep that nice and bright and white okay the next thing we're going to do is we're going to identify the darkest part or the shadow which we're going to emphasize with the charcoal so the darkest part would be this line right here Coming all the way down. It's going to follow along with the contour, the shape of the pepper. And then it kind of splits off right here. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and fill that in just nice and lightly. Like I said, you never want to go too dark because then you can't, can't really go, go back. I'm going to work my way over to create sort of the contour of this edge right here, this um, this nice organic shape right here on the outer edge of the pepper. So I'm going to start by just pulling my, my pencil over that way, create some nice contour lines. You see how I'm going going with the shape of the pepper. I wouldn't want to be um, going against it because that would create confusion. So we're going with the shape of the contour. Nice and lightly, okay. And then I'm going to do the same thing for this edge over here because it appears to be quite dark because our shadow is over the, in this area. So I'm just going to come down here, sort of emphasize this line a little bit here, come down. And the contour lines, they really do create a nice three-dimensional value, which is what we're trying to achieve. Okay, and then the next thing we're going to do is sort of emphasize this line again. 
and then I'm going to start working my way over to this area of the pepper all the while being very conscious that I won't be touching this area which is the highlight or where the light is touching the lightest part of the pepper I'm going to do some contour lines just like this And the great thing about using an organic object like this is um, you can there's a lot of room for your own your own take on it. Not all organic objects look the same, so you can um, there's room for adding your own style a little bit on there. And you want to work from the darkest area to your lightest area. So you see here, this is darker than this area here. I'm trying to make it a bit more gradient. So following along the contour lines. Start working over here, doing the same. And then you can see our lightest area, which is this area here, we're not going to touch at all. And this still, this edge over here, is a pretty, pretty medium grade value, so we're not going to do this too dark over here. This is a good example um, where you can see the contour lines are very important where I, I made a few mistakes right here with the lines. So it's a little bit confusing on the eye to see these lines going up this way and to see these lines going this way. So what I would do is take my, my blending tool, it's just a, essentially a rolled up piece of paper, and I'm going to start going around and blending in my charcoal. And these lines will will even out. And you can use a blending tool or you can use uh, just a rolled up piece of paper. Anything can really be a blending tool. You can even use your, 
your finger if you want to. Here, I'll show you. Just creates a nice effect. Okay, and there you have it. It's not completely finished, but that is the, um, the essential process of understanding the light source and uh, applying value, principles of value, principles of contour drawing to, um, to an object and, and putting it on, on paper. Thank you so much.